Greetings, comrades. My name is Jake Antles, and today I'm going to talk to you about red tides. Why? Because they're important, that's why. Okay, yeah, hey, Johnny. Shh, shh, Johnny, stop throwing that around. Anyway, so, first quick story. One day, when my dad was a boy, he went to the beach with his friends and family, and they went and collected a huge bunch of mussels. And what they decided, and they decided that they were going to go take it home and cook them and eat them, right? Because who doesn't love mussels? Especially in them. Nice sauce. Yummy. Anyway, so he collected a whole bunch of mussels, like a huge amount, and he, and he put them in a pot in this kind of, uh, and, you know, some water and was boiling them. Then his, then his father came home and said, Guys, throw it away. There's been a red tide. And so my dad had, and so my dad and family sadly, regretfully, took the pot and emptied it outside in the bin. Why is that? Well, you see, a red tide is a name for, is another name for an algae bloom, which uh, for those of you that don't, know, that don't know, algae is microscopic organisms that live in in water, and you you'll see you you you'll know a lot about them if you live by the coast, or well, you should, uh, and you sometimes they have formal swimming pools if you don't look after them properly, and algae, they uh, algae are base algae basically they photosynthesize like plants, but like single cell. And the problem with some algae, some species of algae, is that if they bloom all at once, they can release some um, normally chemicals that are too weak to do anything to us. They can uh, they can end up releasing a lot of toxins into the water, which pretty much acts like a huge sterilizing agent, and it will kill everything around it. In fact, red tides, the toxins are so deadly that they will last for months in the food chain, and anything anything that's eaten it is contaminated, and you can't touch it. I mean, the red tide, it's not a specific algae that does it, but it's a, it's a whole number, and then everywhere. You can find pictures of red tides off uh, California and Japan, for example. Some red tides aren't, aren't harmful. I mean, they're just like small stuff, or they don't release toxic chemicals, but a lot of them are. And they are, they are a natural phenomenon, but lately they've been, having a lot more, they've been happening a lot more often, and people believe it has to do with agricultural runoff from nearby land entering the ocean, fertilizing, or giving nutrients to the algae, which makes them bloom exponentially, or sewage entering it, or possibly other toxic chemicals that, from industrial waste that ends up causing them to grow in number. Yeah, and one of the things one of the things you'll notice about red tides is that like the pictures they'll show is that they'll usually show like the Red Sea, you know, the sea's red, and then they'll show like dead fish and that and uh, you know birds, dolphins sometimes. In some and in in uh, California, you find out that there's sometimes dead manatees as well, which is quite sad. But when a uh, when a red tide comes in, it doesn't kill shellfish it just it's it just severely contaminates them and it's and the, what the what the shellfish do is they store it in their fatty tissue and what will what happen is that when people eat this the it's the rather the toxins are still inside the tissue when they eat it so they end up eating ingesting it and getting very very sick to give an idea of how quickly red tides toxins act is that so uh, a bunch of uh, a bunch of fish were given uh, a dose of oxen, uh, a do me sorry, a dose of toxin, orally within an experiment, and within minutes of receiving the this toxin, the fish were immediately started to swim like they were high or something, like they were swimming irregularly and all over the place, and then jerk, then it's like start spasming, and then eventually they then they became paralyzed, and couldn't struggle to breathe properly, and eventually died after an hour. That's how quick red tides can. That's how quick red tides or can kill life. For humans, however, well, the toxin is a uh, is called a uh, brevitoxins, and what they do is that they bind to voltage-gated sodium channels in cell membranes. Now, what that means is that it um, it activates your nervous system uh, uh, constantly until the point where it's um, it's over it's exhausted and it can no longer move, which leads to paralysis. It end, and as such, it ends up causing people to basically just die of respiratory failure. And to give an idea how quick this this happens in humans, within an within an hour of ex, of an exposure to this of the brevitoxin, people are already talking about breathing difficulties. And that's why red tides are so dangerous. They are the oceans are 
uh, near oceans where people are fishing are constantly tested for robotoxin content. Because the moment they find a trace of it, they have to scare, they have to check the whole area to make sure that it's not, it's just a small thing and not a large thing. And if it is, then they can't fish there because it's too dangerous. And one of the big, and if, if you look now, and even if you looked in like Wikipedia, as I'm doing right now, <coughs> anyway, if you looked on Wikipedia, they'll give you a whole list of times where they would report red tides dating back all the way to the 13th to 1530 in Florida. And nowadays, there's still people dying from it. And it's only going to get worse as global warming go, as global warming increases because it means that the rate that the algae will increase by is will just in, the, the rate that the algae grow will increase exponentially. And then with all the amount of fertilizers and stuff being washed in by as we try as we exhaust natural resources and fertilizers to fertilize land for our crops, it means that huge amounts of fertilizer will end up going inside the ocean which will increase the rate of growth. In fact, if any of you have ever read um, the Time Riders series, it's a good series, I recommend reading it. At one point, when they talk about the future, uh, apparently there was a news report in which uh, the news report said that that um, the Indian Ocean was now a third, a third of the, Indian, uh, of the Indian Ocean surface area was now covered in a toxic algae bloom. And whereas it seems like a bit hard to believe, if, if conditions are right, an algae bloom that large isn't that hard to, for it to happen? All, it's, all it just takes is that you know it's got to have the warm environment, plenty of food, and then there you then you have the perfect environment for a red, a, for a red tide. What's worse is that not 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 all red tides are actually red. Some of them it's it's just a generic name given to this to the basically the toxins being released by huge how huge uh, colonies of algae in the ocean. Some of them are don't have any color at all, and that is why <laughs> that that makes them even more dangerous because you can't see them coming. So next time, so I, so don't worry when you like you eat your shellfish or whatever if you bought it from the shop. All that stuff's been regularly tested where it's farmed and even when it's in the factory to make sure that it contains no brevitoxins. But those of you who are fishing on the coast. Please make sure you keep an eye out on news reports about whether or not red tides have been in the area, or, or if one of your friends starts or starts having spasms and get, falls into paralysis, because that means he's suffering from it. So you need to get to medical emergency. You need to get him to the medical help immediately, because you do not want because red tides. They'll only get worse as time goes on, and all and all you can do right now is prepare for them and wait them out. Yeah, the point is, of this whole video, so to make it sound so depressing, is that red tides are dangerous, and they poison you. So if something is contaminated with red tide, don't eat it. If, that's all the time for this episode. That's all the time for this video. If you liked it, please give it a like. Please share my videos. Please do contribute to them. Any, any other things you want to talk about. Please subscribe to my channel so you can see more of this content. And please ring the bell so you can keep up to date with my video releases. And if, if there's anything else you guys want me to talk about, like, I mean, apparently there's such thing as pink tides, which are, hold on, let me, let me, let me click that, what's a pink tide? Never mind, it's just pol political rubbish. Anyway, so, is there anything I want to talk about? Please let me know in the comments, and I'll make, and I'll talk about that, give a brief description, or if you want to do a big thing about it, I will. But that's for next episode. See you next video, comrades.